Shirley Manson is here. She is in Terminator, the Sarah Connor Chronicles. Tell us about uh, tell us about your character, Catherine. Tell us what we need to know about her. I, I'm not supposed to say anything until it runs. Tonight. Nothing? Not really. Come on, it's in all the reviews. Can I play they, a clip? Is it? Yeah, and and I, I read a, a review where you talk about your character. Do I? Uh-huh. What kind of BS well, are you bringing in here? <laughs> I always bring BS with me everywhere I go. Um, well, I'm the head of a, a tech company. She's yes. She's a CEO. Mm-hmm. And she's a tough, uh, no nonsense, frosty broad. Broad. Broad, yes. Gets what she wants, when she wants, how she wants it. Mm-hmm. It doesn't necessarily make everyone happy along the way. No. She's not interested in making anyone happy. So you're not going to smile a lot. I don't smile a lot. No. <laughs> That's going to be hard. I couldn't do that. Yeah, it would be weird to like... Just glower all day long. Yeah, it's fun though. (laughs) Is it fun to be like kind of a bad guy? Is it? Yeah, God, that's... It's so not you. It's not particularly me, no. I mean, I have my moments, obviously, but no, it's not really me. I mean, all the crew sort of laugh at me because they're like, when are you going to smile? Smile! <laughs> but you're not supposed to, right? I mean, that's no, your character. No, I'm not supposed to smile. She doesn't, she's not having the, there to have a lot of fun. She is... Uh, she, she is down to business. She's down to business. She's evil. And uh, you do not want to run into her in the restroom. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> okay. I don't want to give too much away, but I'm saying in the restroom... Stay away. <laughs> you're going to be oddly... Um, Turned on. Really? Oddly. Hey, steady. I'm, I'm just saying. And then... Let's keep it clean in here. And then, not so much. <laughs> Do you get to be like... <laughs> like everybody else is running and they got guns and stuff. Do you get to be like that at no, all? Are you I have strictly no guns. in the corporate world? I'm in the corporate world. She doesn't Pulling need guns. Strings. She's got people. She just, she uh, just okay. winks at people and they go out and do the killing. <laughs> Things happen. Bad things He has things a quiet happen. confidence that uh, that she does it. Now I have a clip. Am I I'm not allowed to play it? I, have I don't a clip know. Of... You're really asking the wrong person. Okay, well I'm going to play it then because if we don't know, we just play. It. Um, this is you uh, standing in your office, looking down at the street. Oh God, please don't play it. Okay. I haven't seen it. I mean, you've seen it. Yeah, it's pretty good. We're yeah. just going to hear it. We're not okay, 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 okay. Yeah, we don't, we don't have to watch it. But okay. this is you looking down at the street, and you're noticing that from a distance, it looks like everybody's following the rules, and the light turns green, the people walk, light turns red, people stop, and you're noticing that pattern. When you get up close, we never follow the rules. You give a computer a series of rules, and it will follow them until those rules are superseded by other rules. Or that computer simply wears down and quits. Computers are obedient to a fault. Do you know what's extremely rare in the world of computers? Finding one. That'll cross against the light. Yeah, and that's the computer that everybody wants, and that's the computer system that, if you've seen the movies, you know. It's significant. It's significant in the story, yeah. And you're the bad guy, and you have it now. And you're bad. And you have it. (laughs) That's right. <laughs> and you're bad. And you're bad. <laughs> <laughs> so you've done 10 episodes. You're going to be in all of them, mm-hmm. right? What about, do you know anything about next year? Have you signed any kind of a deal? For... I think they wait. I think it's much like they a wait record to now. They just, yeah, they wait and see. And then if they if they think that the show performs well, they, they pick it up. I mean, I really don't know. I'm so new to all this. I yeah. don't really know how it works. You always hear that you have 16-hour days when you're doing a one-hour drama. Mm-hmm. Are, are they like that for yeah. you? That's crazy. How are you holding up with that kind of schedule? Well, luckily I don't shoot every day. I mean, I don't know how the other, like the stars of the show deal with it. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm there at four o'clock in the morning and sometimes you're there until three o'clock in the morning. Four so. o'clock in the yeah, morning? it's crazy. I thought we were the only ones that got up at that time. And I thought if, if you well, don't have to, you never would in a million years. <laughs> you get there at four? Yeah. I mean, the, the show is not like your average TV show. I mean, it's sort of filmed like a movie. It's a little movie every week. Right. And so that they really bust their ass and... The crew are worked. I don't know how the crew do it. They're, they're really hard. And then they got to be back the next day, mm-hmm. an hour later. All over again. How did you do yeah. that? I don't <laughs> know. That's insane. I know. So you start at four in the morning and then you sometimes work till three in the morning. Mm-hmm. And you, by the way, your scenes in tonight's episode, which you haven't seen yet, um, <laughs> not that not that huge. I mean, not very time consuming. No, so you're I'm spending maybe, a lot of time. I'll go in maybe one, once a week. Oh, I mean, okay. everybody else is there every day, so. It's not so hard for me, but yeah. for them and the crew, it's tough. That is grueling. How many more episodes do you have to go? I've got another three, I think. And then they'll they'll decide whether they pick it up in the next couple of weeks, I think. Oh, my God. Man, they sure don't it's give amazing. you much. you're almost done. And but that's like what it's aired. like in the music industry as well. You know, you put a record out and they'll, they'll tell you four days before it's released whether it's going to do well or not. I mean, it's you know what it's like. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of a brutal, brutal world. It it's is. a weird world. And a lot of times right we now. hear from actors and actresses that they find out that their show is picked up or not picked up, you know, in the trades or 
you know, yeah. a news report or something. And they Some go, of them come into work, apparently, and they're like, nope, over. <laughs> Sorry, you're out of a job. <laughs> but the worst would be to put in all that time, not that this is going to happen to you guys, because honestly, the reviews have been really good, but um, to, you know, tape eight episodes or whatever and then get canceled after two. Yeah. That or is one just, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> it's really, oh brutal. really brutal. Well, this is one of my favorite shows. I was really happy about Terminator the Sarah Connor Chronicles last year, and it comes back tonight at 8 o'clock on Fox. And Shirley Manson is bad. <laughs> I think we had, can take that away bad from it. Bad to the bull. <laughs> I think that's pretty much what we have to say. All right, Shirley, thanks for coming in. It was oh, really good welcome. to see you again. Can I just plug something? Of course. Because of I, course. I, it's not really my style, but one of my dear friends, Jeff Castellas, who's the head of Danger Bird Records, his son has, was diagnosed with cancer earlier on this year, and he's on his road to recovery, but they're putting together a compilation record um, with Filter Magazine and Urban Outfitters. And mm-hmm. it's coming out 1st of October. There's a brand new garbage track on there, but there's also tracks by Radiohead, Silver Sun Pickups, and a whole bunch of really, really great bands. And so I just wanted to give that shout out to Jeff and Pablo. I'm sure they're listening this morning. Very cool. Is that the 1st of October? That's when it's available. And, and if people buy it, the money goes to the charity? Yeah. yeah. And it goes to, mostly goes to CHLA here in, in Los Angeles. And it goes Children's to, Hospital. Yeah, to, to research for children's cancers and also to provide facilities for the kids while they're waiting for their treatments and just to give them a good time and it's so pretty what's it actually called it's Do called you know? the well it's put out with filter and urban outfitters and it's their charity record of the year and okay. it's the, the charity is called pablov foundation okay and you got back together with the guys and we did came up with a brand it's new actually song. a really really good song i'm really proud of it so. very cool oh, exciting all right fantastic thank you shirley thanks for coming in thanks for having me best of luck thank Tonight, you eight I'll o'clock <laughs> sarah connor chronicles k-r-o-q k-rock